Yeah, hello everybody. Many people in the groups and, and other places are asking for a review of this new Malahi DSP2 from China. This is, uh, I think, the latest model which came out. And it's uh, DSP2. You can you get it with firmware 230 and you can upgrade it with the official software. There's a special uh, update always for the Chinese version, so you have to take care which one you take. But it's very clear to see Chinese models and then you can upgrade to the newest software. This is uh, legalized with uh, Russian developers because this is a licensed uh, clone which has the original software. So I owned a lot of Malahit clones. I started with the first little square one, then I had the Fire Brothers, the aluminium uh, one, and um, after that the V3, which I really loved. But this one is a different, uh, different thing. This is really the first machine from China, clones, which uh, is professional. That means it feels professional. The whole case, it's a full aluminium case in space gray. And um, it's quite heavy. It's quite heavy in the hand. So it feels very, very uh, solid. And what I have to say also, this is the first clone I see, which is uh, has a uh, European certificate. That means you can use this receiver in Europe legally which you can't normally if it's not certified with a CE sign. Uh, I mean, normally nothing happens, but just from the legal point of view, this machine is really a legal uh, certificated radio in Europe, so you can use it everywhere, even without having a license, a amateur radio license. So I got this one from uh, Ali, uh, from AliExpress. I paid 270 euros for it and I had an import tax here in Spain where I'm located from about 3 euros 50 which was nothing I was very surprised and it was here within 10 days so it's really a nice machine the, the whole cover is very very nice aluminium it's screwed on the back with six screws then they sent you this little clip for standing it can nicely put it up and this little feet which you can glue yourself on the back which is very nice when you lay it down it's very very nice soft on the back so what I like also is that the screen is lowered that means the screen is lowered in the case as you can see this uh, protects it a lot and the surface of the screen also feels better than on my previous ones which I had. This screen is really um, yeah, more solid. I don't know how to say but it feels more solid and smooth and it's very very sensitive reacting. The speaker is down here. There are two speakers in. And um, it sounds very round, very uh, presses high frequencies and also in the bass if you listen to FM uh, stations it sounds very very full and rich the speakers very clear and very rich then on the top we have the high set input on the left on the right the 50 ohms input in between is a LED a LED which change the color depending on your switch in the software to high set or 50 ohms, so the input gets switched uh, through the software. Then we have the two encoders for volume and frequency. They feel very, very good. They are very, very nice, uh, soft and very reactive, so very precise. Also the click, it's a uh, very good quality uh, dialers. And I, uh, the only thing I have to say, I don't like the original ones, these are these ones. They have no grip and a little bit sharp edge on the top, so it's not feeling nice on the fingers. So I exchanged the dialing knob, uh, the dialing encoder to a bigger one, it's a little bit higher. It's more comfortable to, to dial the frequencies, you can 
uh, now very very comfortable work with it and I, before this felt not very nice so I this I recommend to change the same diameter but higher and with some grip um, on the side we have the normal uh, things like the headphone output then the USB-C charging port and also for USB connection to the computers then we have a LED for standby charging and on the on and off switch here the soft button and then we have a real on and off switch on the underneath which is uh, switching off the battery completely so that no drain of the battery is happening when the machine is not used for a longer time so i think many people are curious how it looks inside <laughs> this is why i really screwed it i opened it a nice aluminium back here we go there it is so we got the lipo battery here 3.7 volts 5000 milliampere hours then underneath the battery is a speaker it's one of these two membrane speakers which we've seen before in some other clones which has one active membrane and a second which is uh, resonating passively but I must say in this case it sounds really full and very clear maybe it's an upgraded version as well then here we have the main board this is the main board underneath so from the Malahit and here on top this is the extension board for the high set 50 ohm inputs um, yeah the encoders are sitting on a separate board in front I mean the whole thing looks really like it's uh, very nice made also from the inside very solid compact uh, I don't want to take it more apart of course but I was curious like everybody to see how it looks inside yeah let's see how it receives how is the quality uh, with the new software the nice thing is I use two antennas here the LME MLA 30 uh, 30 plus and the KWA 180 180 which I prefer because it's much more uh, sensitive and the good thing with this new software is you don't have to use your uh, power supplies anymore for the antennas you can directly give the power from the DSP2 which has the option in the software to switch that on and off so that the antenna or any other device which you want to have here like a preamplifier whatever can be directly driven from the machine without having an external power supply. This is a nice option, I like it a lot and it works quite well, I must say, with both of my antennas, uh, the MLA 30 Plus and the KWA 180. Um, very, very uh, good results with it. So let's see how it is, how it receives. Let me uh, put on the antenna and then we go. Let's check out a little bit hand bands. 40 meters, strong. Okay, I've got several. Who is the Kilo 2, please? Strong signals. So very good, very strong reception, and it's still with the 50 ohm. You see in red, this means I power my antenna with the built-in power supply from the Malahit. Let's go maybe 80 meters must be very low now because it's very early morning. There's not much right now. Some very low Russian stations here. I'm in the Mediterranean Sea, so quite far away. 
but 80 meters right now is very dead. No good propagation. Yeah. 11 meters wide open today. We are lucky. Yeah, 10 meters, also wide open today. We are very lucky. Yeah. Look. Seventeen meters. So everything really, really good signals here. Every every band open today. Yeah, but what I like a lot is also the scanning mode, which is in the new software. You have uh, here store channels, and then you have here the scanners, scanner and monitor. Um, this is very nice feature because it gives us a possibility to store more channels to ch uh, to scan. It's not just the channels, which the 50 channels, 50 memories, which you have. Here you have per um, per scanner another 50 channels, and this is quite uh, fast scanning. Here we are in the air band. I don't know if there's traffic right now. Let's see. I have not much channel stored, but you see the scanning is very fast actually through the channels. Okay, let's try FT8 decoding. Let's see how it works. It's independent of the volume. The listening volume can be set like you like. The decoding is not affected by that. And here we go. Yeah, works very well. Yeah, here RTTY decoding. It's independent of the volume. I can go down in the volume. It's very nice. So independent of your listening volume, it's decoding without any problems. Really nice. AM radio, shortwave. Let's check some other bands. Let's go to Midwave. Also very nice reception. Let's go. Long wave. There are not many stations anymore. Long wave. Radio wise. So maybe have another one here. 60 meters. Night time with late night. Also, 
cars and you have all the modes you can uh, go am enhancing a lot the sound quality and what i like also is always the noise reduction of uh, the malahit is very very unique and very very excellent huge difference it's very very uh, effective noise reduction also on the single side bands it's very very uh, effective yeah let's check fm radio also Uh, like I said before, uh, the speaker sounds really, really nice. The RDS is not always perfect, but it works. But it's not always perfect, like here now. The name is not written perfectly right. A very, very excellent sound, of course, and you can switch between different screens, the retro screen, where I've stored already the local radio stations. The normal waveform. And here we got the RDS. In this case, everything right decoded. So RDS works quite well here in Spain, at least. I heard in other countries it's very problematic, but here I must say it's really working quite good. Well, so all in all, it's a very nice machine. And <clears throat> I really like this case, which has no sharp edges, all round edges, very nice designed. It's a very professional feeling, the dial knobs very nice. The whole thing comes, by the way, with a written user manual. It's very um, detailed, so everything is very, very nicely explained. This is for the software 230. And it comes with a case, nice uh, case where you can put your things on top antenna stuff, whatever you need, and here goes the machine, so it's also coming with, with the receiver. And they give you a little pen as a present, this one, this is a pen for, on one side you have a normal pen, and on the other side it's a touch pen for the screen, and this also works really nice actually. So this comes also with the machine and it works really good on the screen. Okay, so this was a little review about this Malahit version, Malaha Malahit DSP2 from China. So I can just recommend it. It's a little bit more costly, but it really from the quality um, rectifies the price. So I think it's really nice for this price. Okay, that's for now and uh, I hope I could give you a little impression of, of this uh, nice radio. Bye bye.